Welcome, everybody, for tonight is a very special tale. A tale that'll drive you to madness. KPRM proudly presents Call of Cthulhu. Hi, everybody. I'm Holy Marcellus. Welcome. Uh, I am very excited for this, for this night. I am a huge Call of Cthulhu fan. Uh, for those who know me in my board gaming scene, Call of Cthulhu is one of the very first board games that brought me into the board game hobby as it is today. And I'm a huge fan of the style, the lore, um, everything that has to go with Call of Cthulhu. Um, and I just recently was able to pick up this game uh, for the first time. So I'm hugely excited to start playing this. Uh, I'm just going to lower down the the um, settings real quick. Um, and as you can see, I am playing keyboard and mouse. And I'm wondering about the graphics. Okay, window full screen. Let's do full screen. The resolution is all the way down for some reason. We want that kicked up to 1920 by 1080. So that's the way we're going to do that. And we do want to accept those changes. Alright, yeah, that looks... Ooh, that looks a little weird. I no longer have the ability to control the mouse. So let me quit the game real quick. And then we're going to go right back into it. <clears throat> I just want to make sure everything is up in working order. See what madness does. It causes everything to break. There we go. Let's get back into this. Whoa. All right, there we go. Now we're rocking at 1080. Sweet. Let us enter madness. Chapter 1, Pierce Investigations Agency, Boston. Boston, 1924. Edward Pierce, veteran of the First World War, drowns his memories in liquor and sleeping pills. He is now a private detective who has trouble finding a case able to lift him from his torpor. Pierce must find a new case quickly or risk losing his life. If I am mad, it is mercy. May the gods pity the man who, f in his callousness, can remain sane to his hideous end. That's some creepy shit. Take a look out there. Seems we're in some sort of cave in the sewers. Oh, a lot of shark bits here. Crouch. Press toggle. Hmm. 
chain is locked. Perhaps there's something that I can use it to open the door. Hmm. Anything? Anything. Ah! light up some items in order to interact with them guess we're gonna do that with this lamp hurricane lamp so we got a bolt cutter let's go ahead and bolt cut these bolts weird what a putrid offering oh, sick kind of fight you have been chosen hold up Oh, hold shift. That's, yeah, that's kind of a weird way to put it. It's to hold up, it's hold shift. Or hold shift, it's hold up. Fine. Hey, whiskey. I should drink some more then. <laughs> Alright, so my journey. My private day. Century after the boss. Okay. Pierce. Ah, oh, it looks like Oh, so these are my stats. Kinda like uh kinda like regular Call of Cthulhu. Um, like the tabletop actually where you have skills in order to do things uh, that's actually really cool um, very interesting so this is my little lighter I like it I do like how we have kind of elder goddess ruins there so what's my sanity my sanity Confident in your abilities and reputation, man. Conduct your investigation by stick to the facts of fiction. Yeah. Oh, my. So my. Sandy is stable. I had a mental trauma. This is one of the few survivors of the last but Okay. Interesting. A good old story of blackmail and deceit. And this. Hmm. All right. A solved case. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. Hmm. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. Her husband couldn't understand it. Get calling me the weeks after the investigation thing closed. Yeah. I used to be an avid reader. 
we can tell. We also got some beast to sleep. Tell. I wonder why I still take these things. I suppose they put an end to the nightmares, but for a while now their effect has been wearing off. Oh, let's have a drink. This will affect your destiny. Ooh. since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. The doctor can well repeat to me that I'm no one need my remedy to keep my memories at bay. But I know that if I stop, the memories will return. One of these mornings, I probably won't wake up. Despite the treatment, I again hear voices in my dreams, but they're different, unknown. They seem to surface from unfathomable and ancient depths. What na nameless creature is calling me? That's enough. That's what's causing the dreams. I should get rid of all this stuff. Hmm? Nobody calls me. I'm listening. That's correct. Hello. I'm Lucy Shallowfield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. <coughs> I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Okay. Let's see. So... I have eight CP available character points. So CP is character points. And I want to put these into uh, good skill. Strength, I think, is pretty decent. Um, though I am a detective, it kind of makes sense that I should probably have um, a little bit more kind of eloquence. <laughs> you know, being able to speak. Um, my investigation is fine. I don't know anything in the occult. Mm. I'm not really a medic, so. I think for now. Probably spot hidden. <clears throat> I think I'm going to do ooh, eloquence or occultism or psychology. Oh, this is this is a tough one. Oh, whoops! Hit the windows key. I think since I am a detective, I should be able. You talk my way out of things, and I think the only one left to really do is going to be medicine. So I, I think we're good there, and we're going to validate it. What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contract in. And if we see <clears throat> you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth Coming.
Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. All of Boston knows. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you've got to leave. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl, she is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes. Please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. All right. Let's take a look here. All right. Knowledge. Oh, those with the new... Items that I found. Alright. Well, first, we're gonna look at the painting. What's this symbol on the man's chest? It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. Let's see. A cult. The artist Sarah Hawkins, intuitive and visionary artist for some, overpriced imposter for others. Sarah Hawkins leaves nobody indifferent. This mysterious and reserved painter offers strange images with violent colors and wild strokes to the world. If her paintings are testimony to her vision of the world, then the world of Sarah Hawkins is a portal open to other dimensions. Trap for the notebook and Edward Pierce, private detective. It does certainly seem that way. This painting depicts a monstrous silhouette threatening a woman and a child. Planes can be made out in the background. Stephen Webster, the father of Sarah Hawkins, thinks that it's linked to the death of his daughter. A warehouse on Dark Web. Some sketches of Hawkins family. Rather thin. Okay. Warehouse some 36 of dark water. Okay. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these <laughs> elements? Hmm. Interesting. So, it does give me a lot of choices here. Um, I can go for investigation, some standard conversation, which I think is the regular conversations. I might be able to find out more about 36. And this might, it's an unlocked answer. What's up, Dalsec? So I think we're going to go with this one. The meaning. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe, too. 
It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short <coughs> while after this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. Hmm. What about Warehouse 36? Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Her husband was a big deal at the time. Mr. Stiggins did taxi. Though they mentioned Sarah's name at the station. I believe you are right, Mr. Stiggins. This case is not simple. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. Let's see. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life. And death. So where'd she live? Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. Mm -mm. I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let something go. An artist dies. That's a weird dies. looking mouth. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You will be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. Darkwater. I think I've got a book on the north. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. Yes. Oh, uh, there we go. Oh, what's this? Lost battalion. Holding your position and obeying orders. That is isn't courage. I used to be an avid reader. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. Learning of Medicine, Volume 1, a dense work aimed at interns and young practitioners. The first volume lists all illnesses known in the civilized world. It details the symptoms and suitable treatment. Nice. Leatherbound. Aye, aye. Ooh. My character sheet. Okay. Medicine and cult skills can only be improved by objects discovered in the environment. Okay, cool. So, I know of those people. And the information that I have based on the clue. Blue's clue. Dark water is off the coast of... But I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. But it seems to have been shunned since then. God. A gigantic creature still ornates the walls of long abandoned caves. Was it a sea or a dream god? No one knows. But today's inhabitants, the son and daughters of the pride whale hunters, still remember this mysterious and cumulative story of their small island off the coast of Massachusetts. 
All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to the dark water. So let us go to dark water. Yeah, this this really does feel like um, it does have has some elements of Call of Cthulhu, like the board game. But my experience with the tabletop, uh, especially with the character development and the skills, uh, really feels more of Call of Cthulhu tabletop or even Trail of Cthulhu. Excuse me, I feel it's going to be a little bit more Trail of Cthulhu because you're going to be forced to have to um, uncover story elements unlike regular Call of Cthulhu. Where if you don't make certain skill checks, you're going to miss certain parts of the story just because you can't or just can't figure it out. Relit a cigarette that was already lit. We're almost there. All of Cthulhu. <clears throat> the Scylla. Guys coming to unload. Man, I'll tell you, that crate has got to weigh a lot, and for them to lift that up, those guys are Welcome really fucking to strong. Water Island, Mr. Beast. Why, thank you. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything? Charles Hawkins may have been a land lover, but he's a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman, and a great deal to worry about. Oh. You know what? Go have a drink of the stranded whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the harbor master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Kind of interesting that he would bring up the fact that he has documents about the Hawkins, and he doesn't really know who I am. That's, uh, <laughs> that's kind of strange. So first I'm going to check out what's going on here with this dead whale. Hey Sullivan, can't go any faster. Now all this 
The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what to do. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. Same goes for you, sir. Move along. I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. Ah, and so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. You can't? Or you don't want to? Oh, no, no. I I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. So if I did not take that uh, point in the medicine, I probably wouldn't have been able to figure that out, seeing that the blood had coagulated, and figured out how much time that the whale's been setting out for, or how long it died. A shit place to be in the 1920s. Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits me fine. Hmm. Hello. It's glowing like crazy, but I can't pick it up. Well, this dude has anything to say. No, I'm just gonna smoke your pipe. And I'm just gonna enter the bar. <laughs> the fuck, bro? Let's get him another drink. Trouble. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. Hmm. Let's see. So I do have uh, certain things. So I could test my strength or I could test my eloquence. I'm actually going to try to test my eloquence on this. Let's see what happens. You saw what happened. He's the troublemaker. <laughs> oh, you're a true man. A real princess. Mm. You strut around with your la di da ways, and then, as soon as the pressure arises, you start squealing. You don't have what it takes to drink my whiskey. You got to earn it. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak now. I reserve the right to answer or not. Hmm. Uh, well, first we're gonna... I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell no one. I believe this game came out uh, last year, 2018. You know where this place is. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. See, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? Hmm, sounds like a haunted place. 
Uh, so that's some better place. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name it reminds us of the golden age of dock water, when our whalers left for long months and came back sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. Now it's time to find out about Sarah Hawkins. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. And I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Okay. Um... Her vision. Was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? Mmm, that is kind of true. Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. Mm. I've got what I need. Anything else? That'll be all for now. I got my information. Thank you, Baki. I'll look at your prices. Charles Hawkins was a heavy drinker. And a debtor. Interesting. Interesting. Like, he owes about 50, 68 bucks. 68 bucks. You can tell that people really don't like the prohibition here. The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. Catch, catch the brave vessel aboard of a size that went beyond formidable tooth whales. The Setsian, that's already being called the miraculous catch, covered the whole deck and parts of it were hanging off the side of the ship. Surviving sailors told a frightening account of the peerless catch, but also of its meat, unmatched its quality and plentiful nutritious benefits. There is no doubt that the immense size of this well will allow numerous inhabitants of black of dark water to feed themselves, bringing an end to the famine from which the uh, part of the island was suffering. There is a warehouse for rent. To celebrate the strand of well expectations. All right. Very interesting. Do you like our song? No. <laughs> We're true sirens. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yeah. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last. The biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. Exactly. Hmm. I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. I saw the newspaper clip. You don't believe it. Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah. Where's the proof? We're the proof. Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened just as it says in the newspaper report. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. 
I bid you farewell, friend. Good night, stranger. So long. Oi, stranger. Talk to Fitzroy. What are you looking at, stranger? What are you looking at? Hmm. The clientele is predominantly male. Tell me something I don't know. I meant no. I'm just wondering what a woman like you is doing in this flea trap. And I'm wondering what could be going through the head of the chump who goes to disturb her. Let me drink, stranger. Very well. I will let you drink. Well, that door is locked. So, a member of the asylum. Oh, those two. Well, there's an asylum on this island. That means we got a bunch of crazies. The madness. So now we're going to go to the city of Darkwater Harbor Master. This place has definitely seen better days. Except that one time called the Miraculous Catch. I wonder what's that, what that's all about. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman and cat. Join Captain. Interesting. This woman and cat. Broken. This place seems half abandoned. Hey, how did that door open if I never opened it? Ah! The loo! Fishing equipment. <laughs> Could be with so much for me. A souvenir from a more prosperous era. Mm -hmm. I guess this blackboard hasn't been Oh man, yeah, that's not getting clean. The Scylla. They finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. Unfortunately, it did. Learning of Medicine, Volume 2. Teaches ethics and good practice to medical staff. Alright. Item obtained. So what did that do? Oh, okay, so my medicine was at 20, now it's at 24%. So it's slowly filling up the gauge. So what the percentages mean here uh, in the actual tabletop was like your accuracy or your ability, or not accuracy, your chance in order to succeed. So the way that the dice go worked, it worked off a 100% die system. So the number that you had in terms of your skill level to do a certain action, when those skills were being used, you would have to roll a percentile dice. And if you got under this number, you would succeed in that skill. So for example, if I'm checking out a, um, let's say I'm looking at a, hole in a whale and I'm trying to figure out what could have caused the whale to die or just trying to find out more information I would roll a percentile die and if I say got 25 I might be able to find some more additional information in that if I fail that roll I wouldn't be able to discern exactly what killed the whale um, in the actual tabletop this is kind of a good and a bad thing it was bad because we ended up not getting certain points of the story because we couldn't make skill checks. Um, it's a it's a problem that uh, I feel with the game um, Trail of Cthulhu, which harbors a gumshoe system, allows you to spend skill points, but you're always going to get like the whole breadth of the story and kind of understanding how the story is. So there's no way that you can miss on skill checks or miss on story events. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. Hmm, interesting. 
nothing in there. What a macabre souvenir. Huh. It's a guy's peck like. Hey, uh, there's, uh, there's shit on your stairs. I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. All right. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. That's all I'll get from them. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, those manifests are all scribbled out, bro. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whales. Even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on dock water. Tell me what I can do to help. So it looks like this was unlocked either by uh, interacting with the item or possibly investigation. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? Mm. I'm surprised Charles Hawkins had goods to store, knowing that whaling stopped in 1847. I see that you are interested in the history of our island. Indeed, maritime activities ceased altogether at the end of the last century. I imagine that the Hawkins family had other types of contracts. But you don't know with whom? No, it was none of my business. I'm looking for Warehouse 36. You know where it is. Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jet. You can't miss it. Hmm. Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? Give me just one second. Just received a message from good old pal Tommy. So... say hmm I could lie to him but I kind of already know that and I don't take this dude as a man as an idiot so I'm just gonna tell him the truth it belonged to the Hawkins family precisely ship owners from father to son I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse So I unlocked a lot of different things. So I found a threatening letter signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? Yeah, I wouldn't say that. She terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. Uh, I was looking at your photograph. The one of the man in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Your father? John Fitzroy. Captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. Sure, I did. I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. Killer whales don't have many known predators. That's true. And normally, they're not found around here. But, um, 
You're gonna take me for a fool. Give it a try. Have you heard about the depths? Trenches that plunge into the earth and that shelter creatures unlike any other. You're talking about mythology. <laughs> Indeed, you're right. The police took the decision to put the killer whale back into the sea. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with it. I think that was a mistake. Who says that whatever caused those wounds is no longer in these waters? <laughs> you think we should have kept it? To look into the real cause of its death, at least. Mm, I got a point there, but, you know. The miraculous catch. Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glorious past. Go read the story of the sailors returned to Darkwater Harbor. It's displayed on a wall of the stranded whale. All right, I got all that. Can you tell me where the warehouse is? Look, I've already shown it to you. It's the one with the cop on guard duty out front. You can't miss it. Yeah, understood. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. Okay, I'll come back when I got something new. Hey, I got something new. No, just... Oh, so I gained one CP. Character point. That's right. Yes. All right. Let us go. Let me go and check out. Let's see. Because this is an investigation game, we want to make sure that we investigate everything. Boop -a doop boop. Look at that. There. And nobody cares. Awesome. Spot. Wait, what? The spot hidden skill. Hello, old friend. Bottle of liquor. A key item obtained. Hello. Cat knows about the theft from her stock of liquor. Somebody oh, stealing from the bootlegger's stock of liquor. Interesting. I knew it was a good idea to get that spot hidden skill. Now, how do I put that away? Um, put it away? How do I put that away? Saint Brent the Navigator. Saint Brendan, patron saint of sailors and travelers. Desecrated. I can't even say which language it's written in. That is interesting because yeah, it does have some strange runes on it. So if I if my occultism occultism was a bit higher, I may have been able to uh, read that. Sub menus. Oh, so I got all those. An excellent way to lean on a guy who's oh guards the entrance of the of the warehouse. Nice. Okay. What? Oh, okay. So I have to press the middle mouse button to put the lighter away. Okay. Interesting. What's up, buddy? I don't see anything over here. Yep. You live here. Why did you do that, huh? We saw what you did to St. Brendan. 
Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. I've never heard of this saint. Is it a local belief? But everyone knows Saint Brendan, the navigator. He's the patron saint of whales and whalers. And what happened to the statue? Go see for yourself. He's at the end of the jetty. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait, now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to dark water? Let's see. The two guys behind you. What are they guarding? The bootleggers, scum. They're protecting their territory. From whom, I wonder? They really don't have a choice anyway. They're <laughs> more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. If only they would kill each other. Damn. Is it cat who's shaking down Captain Fitzroy? Oh, hold on, hold on just a minute. We didn't tell you a thing. Nothing at all. So they know something about that. That statue represents your local saint. What do you mean by local, exactly? You wouldn't be looking down at us, like all townspeople do. Saint Brendan. He protected whalers and fishermen like us. Until those assholes defaced him. Hmm. Peculiar house. Yeah, that's where we live. Our boat. It's not because it doesn't float anymore that we're going to abandon it. So they're Isn't homeless. That a bit early for alcohol? We got nothing better to do anyway. There's not much work around here. Fitzroy gives us a few chores every now and again, but since the whaling station shut down, ain't a lot of jobs left around here. So we drink. Sounds good. I've taken enough of See you later. I do like this uh, investigator's voice. I think he's a uh, really cool. I think he's a really good voice actor to to, to uh, pick. How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouse is unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at your cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife under my. Well, we already solved that clue a little preemptively, but you know, figured as much. Who's this guy? No idea. You better keep it shut. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? We saw you talking to the two soaps. Go die of thirst, a lot of you. You'll stink less. I think I'm just gonna so ask him straight up. Are you stupid or are you doing it on purpose? Everybody knows us on dark water. I've just arrived. Let's just say we're standing guard for the owner of the site. And we let no one enter her property. I went to see the statue of St. Brent. What makes you think we did? We're bootleggers, not savages. Who do you think defaced the statue? What do I know? They could have done it by themselves. The sailors. Who else, in your opinion? And who's interested? Hmm. Cat. She's your boss. What? You listen through keyhole. She's the boss, yeah. She says who goes in or not. Shut up, you dummy. You wanted to know that you also talk too much. She must be quite intimidating if she can make two men like you tremble. Ooh. <laughs> she redid the smile at the last one who wanted to get in. I hope he had a good dentist. No, no, you don't understand. She really cut him a new smile. But he only smiles with the left cheek. <laughs> oh. So, Cat is not to be messed with. She sounds frightened. 
and she doesn't like to be talked about behind her back. Mm -hmm. I bid you, gentlemen, farewell. So, I wonder if I would have the ability to kind of confront Cat because I'm pretty sure that's her in the bar with the information that they're stealing from her. Where do you think you're going? Who are these others so interested in the warehouse? And why would I tell you? Mm. What's the difference between a police officer and a private detective? A badge? Exactly. Apart from that piece of metal, there's nothing that sets us apart. You think so? We're looking for the same thing, you and I. Okay, okay. Spare me the next verse. I'll tell you what I know. Nice. There are sailors who think that there's a beast prowling around the docks. Then again, these guys panic at the thought of bringing a rabbit onto a boat, so... I see. And there are others who would like to use the warehouses for their goods. That's fine. Where do you think you're going? I don't know why it kind of cut off like that. Um, I'm not here to hinder your work, officer. Edward Pierce, private detective. Sorry, we're all a little on edge today. What are you doing here? I'm investigating the death of the Hawkins family. Darn it. Why do you want to drag up all that stuff again? My investigation has led me to this warehouse. That case was closed months ago. What more can you say about the death of the Hawkins family? Not much more than what everyone knows. I wasn't on the case. They were all burnt to death, right? Up at their place. The whole mansion went up in flames. Don't get it into your head to go wandering around up there. It's dangerous. What do you mean by that? The only one left there is old Silas. And the accident has affected him badly. He can be unpredictable. Especially if a stranger starts poking around the property. Is he a danger to the public? No, he's in his own home. Do yourself a favor. Leave him well alone. Alright. So yeah, I'm I'm just gonna test something out because I wonder if I could talk to Kat about her guards um stealing from her. That way I kind of earned her trust. So let's see. What? Another break? I told you to beat it. Well, that answers that. She don't want to talk to me. So, alright. Guess we're going to deal with the bootleggers. Or maybe I'll talk to the cop one more time. Since we are on the same side, I'll ask him if I can get in. You again. I told you to beat it. No need to get worked up. Okay. Well, he told me to beat it. So, let's talk to these bootleggers. What's with you wandering around here like <clears throat> a big dog? We saw you talking to the two soaps. Go die of thirst, a lot of you. You'll stink less. Let's see. I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's going to be comfortable. No, it's very simple, in fact. Fuck off. I don't give a damn about your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. Now, we don't give a damn about you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. What will Kat say when she finds out that it's you who are approaching the stock? You've got no proof. That's true. Apart from this little note from your friend. You didn't throw it away? I couldn't someone was gonna force the lock what up so what is it you want to get into the Hawkins warehouse that's all go on then and we never want to see a rat snout again that's right boys fuck off see that's how you do things you just gotta threaten people with the truth don't want to tell people lies. Lies. 
So, can't climb up there. So, oh. Hmm. That's a good sliding door. Let's see. Investigation. Shoot. I'll have to find another way to get in. Looks like my investigation skill isn't high enough to pick the lock, so. Well, well. Oh. A little mouse has got lost on our turf. You're not only inquisitive, you're also stupid. What gave you the crazy idea to come onto my turf? Ooh. Your turf? That's news to me. For a guy who has no idea, you've been doing a fair bit of poking around. <clears throat> My men saw you staking out the Hawkins warehouse. Is that against the law? I'm no idiot, detective. I'll tell you how things work around here. I decide who comes in and who stays out. And anyone who doesn't respect my rules, I punish them. Oh, so... Is your name Cap? What of it? Maybe we can come to an understanding. Maybe. Or maybe not. Oh! Joker out of here. He might have a little trouble walking on his own. <clears throat> oh, damn. Oh, I'm getting careless. I didn't see that coming. If I want to get into this warehouse, I'm going to have to be very careful. Yes, you are. Damn. I got the beatdowns. And these two aren't talking anymore. So that sucks. You again. I told you to beat it. No need to get worked up. Guess I have to go talk to her in her into this place, I bet. Mitchell, a drink for our new friend. I owe you. You don't know how to fight, but at least you've got guts. Yeah, aching guts. Huh. I've got them too. But you don't hear me whining like a pooch who's lost its leash. You didn't back down. It's something that I respect. So understand by that. If I catch you again, you'll carry a more permanent reminder of our encounter. Tell me, what brings you to Darkwater? I'm gonna tell the truth. Um, game. Uh oh, what what's going on here? Why why can't I select that? Uh oh. Um, this this isn't good. Uh, looks like the game just literally does not want me to tell the truth or tell lie. Ah, uh, shit. I think we literally just soft locked. So. Let's go to the last checkpoint. Hopefully that is the, uh, the one where I'm getting up after being knocked out. That's uh that's kind of unfortunate. Got our first bug of the game. Hmm. That was quite strange. Oh. All right. Let's try again. Good. I'm getting careless. I didn't see. Okay. If I want to get into this warehouse, I'm going to have to be very careful. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shyster. You're crazy. What could have done so much 
much damage. What the hell? <laughs> just those, those are a little uh, awkward. Just kind of turns you away from it. And you're like, um, okay. Hey, Mitchell, I owe you. Shit. Huh. You didn't so undersell me. Let's go back. I'm investing. There we go. The deaths of the Hawkins family. It's very nice of you to tell me the truth so openly, but it's also really stupid of you. You really don't seem to know the area. Let me give you a little advice. If you want to survive more than a day in this rat hole, avoid talking about them to the first people you meet. Hmm. Is that more dangerous than having a drink with you? I'm not kidding. The old families, they were here long before us. And they'll be here long after we're gone. The old families? The descendants of the first whalers. These people truly worship their ancestors. That's I've got a few questions about the island. I'm not here to give you information. Mitchell will tell you what he wants to tell you. I need to get into the Hawkins warehouse. You're out of luck. It's on my turf. It's precisely for that reason that I've come to see you. Are you pulling my leg? Um. Yeah, would I have taken that risk? I'm pretty sure you want to hear that. Think it over. I've seen what you're capable of. And you didn't miss me. I accept the compliment. Well, I see you're serious. To be honest, as long as it doesn't interfere with my business, I don't care. But I'll go with you to make sure you don't stick your nose into things that don't concern you. Sounds honest to me. I'm not finished. If I do that for you, if I let you onto our turf to conduct your little affairs, you'll be indebted to me, and I guarantee that I always collect on what I'm owed. Think about it. I help you, you'll owe me a favor in return. Do you accept? No, well, got another choice. Do I have a choice? Oh, we always have one, detective. Follow me. Nobody questions your authority. I was given to believe that Fitzroy stood up to me. That dope tried to save face in front of his sailors. They revere their brave captain as they do their old statues. But sooner or later, all statues get buried in bird shit. And nobody cares. And the police? They do nothing to stop you? The local cops? The cops drink like everyone else do. <coughs> they know where their interests lie. Apart from that pig-headed Bradley. I don't know whether to admire his stubbornness or to have pity on him. Mm, I give him a little bit of both. I still wonder if you're able to uh, snitch on these two about the whole bootlegging thing. Them still it. Since they're all stealing up her liquor. Oh, don't, don't okay. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, hey, what's up, Thomas? How you doing? I will say there are quite some good polygons here. Huh? Wait, what? Yeah, I, I, I tried to open the lock on this thing, and it really didn't work. So, you know, I think that... Uh, never mind. That's how it's done. Do I still need to hold your hand? Or do you think you'll get by on your own now? Don't mm. overdo it. Good. In that case, I'll leave you. I've done enough mothering for now. Cool. Thanks for showing me how to pick locks. Because, you know, I already know how to do it. Ugh. Hey, gave one character point. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? To reconstruct a scene, hold these two. Oh, God. White light. Okay. Hmm. 
Wait a minute, there's something hidden. These painkillers were prescribed three months ago. Someone has been taking them since the time of the Hawkins' death. She's styling on you? Psh. I know, right? She thinks she has style. It smells as bad as it looks. Yeah, but then again, I could probably say she she does have style since she did kick my Can't ass. Sleep. I know how that feels. Okay. Le Petit Parisien. Who might keep a news clipping about Sarah Hawkins? Hmm. Interesting. Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? Wait, what? What? Well, still want to kind of look around. Psychology. Someone treasures this crumpled picture to the point of sleeping with it. Yeah, I know, right? And the glass is shattered, like someone smashed it. Was it before or after the removal of these bandages? Hmm, probably. I don't know. If you have bandages on there and they're blood soaked, I would say the bandages came off after he punched it with a uncovered fist. Alright, so let's come out of investigative mode. Listen, <laughs> not sleeping with the picture of your waifu. <laughs> Alright, cool. We got another character point. It's very interesting to see how an investigator is able to come up with those certain little aspects. Um, Alright. Someone has settled in here. Hmm? And whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? Yo, no move. Detective Pierce. Told you to stay away from this warehouse. Ooh, uh, psychology. I, I don't think he's gonna take it out. I don't trust my psychology to be high enough for him to to be there. And oh man, I wouldn't try to threaten a cop. Explain what this painting is doing. This is Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the bike. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene. Thanks. I'd like to go and see the mansion. Of course. You wanna go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car is parked down the way. Andrews, would you please shut the door? Yeah, Andrews. This guy went right on the alarm. God damn it. Her again. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Why you? He Come on. Doesn't really look Keep fat. Smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? I thought I'd straightened you out, mister. I am disappointed. But we'll meet again. Is it far, this mansion? I, I know, right? Fuck you. But, you. but here's the thing. Here's the thing, see the scar on that dude's face? I'm pretty sure she did that. That's the Hawkins mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. Uh huh. Garden of the Hawkins mansion. 
Pierce managed to get into the warehouse. The place, thought to be abandoned, revealed some surprises. Signs of recent occupation as well as a partly charred painting. Interrupted in his searching by Officer Bradley, Pierce convinced him to join his investigation. The police officer was willing to drive the detective to the Hawkins Mansion. Beep, beep, I'm a Jeep. Tea bottle. Yeah, I'm convinced Kat did that shit to him. She did do that shit to him. So. Huh? Huh? Yeah, I know, right? Baker's, you know, got to learn not to be so serious. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. See, I would, I would bet if they ever decide to do like a remake of the Alone in the Dark series, like the original... Alone in the Dark 2, I would picture the mansion to look very similar about, uh, very similar to this. Your partner, Andrews, warned me against him. Did you manage to get something out of that bomb? I'll end up asking you for a buck. Oh. He talks too much. He inferred that old Silas was likely unhinged. That's... Ah, oh, somebody plays point. magic. But kind of unfair at the same time. You know... Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like his son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over him. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? Yeah, why so serious? I see no scorched trees. Pretty damn observant, ain't you? The fire was quickly contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. Not soon enough to save the Hawkins. They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas anymore. His guilt torments him enough as it is. Are we gonna take a closer look at this mansion, or do you have other questions? Ah, uh, well, according to my will here, I have, uh, I have quite, uh... A lot of questions. You won't get me to believe that it looked any better three months ago. It's a very old building, you know. Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. It's got nothing to do with Charles Hawkins' debts. Ha. Huh. You've already begun to nose around, it would seem. So, since you already know it, the Hawkins family couldn't afford the upkeep of this house. It remains to be seen what they did with all their money. I wait. Charles Hawkins traveled. Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. Well, I got quite an amount of questions. You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escapes, that's all. If there's been a law in court <clears throat> there, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? I prefer to be prepared if it's going to be trouble. A wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rocky floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go, right? Night falls quickly here, and I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you, if only to reassure Silas. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. Let's go, fat man. 
Because you're so fat. Because Cat says so. <laughs> yes, where all the ghouls and zombies exist. I'll ask you like 20,000 fucking questions while we're being surrounded by cults and maniacs. Bradley was right. This place is much older than I imagined. Mm. I laid me down and slept. Slept. I wake for the Lord sustained me. Interesting. Well, we know that uh, the people here are Christian. Poor kid. Yeah. Someone did face this. Someone must really hate Charles Hawkins. I told you. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, detective, does this place inspire any thought? Do you know if Charles Hawkins had any enemies? Not to our knowledge. He was a well-respected personality on the island. I don't understand. Silas would never have let such a thing happen. On the Silas has gone mad. Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father said that he's devastated. Let's go to the mansion. Please give me a minute. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial. What kind of deranged individual would defile this sanctuary and steal a burnt painting? I don't see Silas doing such a thing, let alone allowing it. Even that broad baker is above that. More flowers and Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. The old caretaker must be very attached to her. Agreed. Sorry to cut you off. Continue with your soliloquy. But I think I broke him. Yep, I broke him. Uh, yeah, totally broke him. So we're gonna just go to the bench and all our own. Bye. Is he still, still over there? Oh, fuck him. Bye. Interesting. The tree fell down. Oh my kaboom. This was Bloodborne, I'd be shitting bricks. This entrance is still in use. Whoa. <gasps> Whoa. Shh. You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick. Easy, sir, all right? Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We gut them. Dump them into the ocean. Whoa. Uh. Uh. You're Mr. Winchester. Lower that axe. Let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. No, you won't. Sarah Hawkins' father sent me here to investigate the death of his daughter. Webster, huh? I understand how he feels. But me? I want the dead to rest in peace. And that means kicking the ass of gumshoes like you. Why would you not want me to help understand what happened? 
I've got nothing to hide. Tell me what you're doing here. And no baloney. The police report describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. The mansion isn't safe. It would break your neck as sure as you're trying my patience right now. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. Ooh. You still put flowers on her grave. You cherish her memory. Mrs. Hawkins was an exceptional person. She cared for everyone around her. Let me shed a light, Mr. Montana. Give me that. Hmm. I'm probably making a big mistake, but it won't be the first. Here, take the key and do what you have to do. Go on, then. <clears throat> Just to get rid of me. Let's see what more I can learn from this match. Two. It's always a way to talk down to somebody once you have all the knowledge at your hand. I'm gonna continue to walk around and see what's around here. This gate is locked. No, it's not. Push it! Ah! <clears throat> ah, this must be his house. There's a little, his little shack. Which, because I am a detective, I have full right to break into. I see where he gets his infinite amount of axes. So here's the interesting thing about that lighthouse. Uh, I would suspect the lighthouse of evil doing... Oh, never mind, it's working. into his place hmm, I guess not but I did open the window the poor wretch seems to spend the best part of his time isolated from the rest we're other Spartan the caretaker has simple tastes I know a thing or two about solitude myself yep Yeah, the <laughs> he has two axes. He's a berserker. Nah, that's infinite axes. He's uh, well, he is a berserker, but he's also an axe thrower. So that just makes him a uh, uh, axe maniac. Oh look! Oh, he's back. Yes. Shall we enter? I don't know. Now that you finish your fun and games of silence, we can perhaps inspect the mansion. Fun and games? That dude was about to kill me. What the fuck? <laughs> Let's take a look inside. I'm with you. <laughs> I'm done with the fun and games, dude. This dude was gonna kill me with a fucking axe. He likes to ask questions. <laughs> you fucking dumbass. <laughs> Look, look at my hand. It is sand. It is now turned to diamonds. Enter madness. Follow me. No. Well, I don't. Who left this light on? I thought you did, Mr. X Body Spray. So I've been getting quite a bit of character points. Let's see if I have enough. I have five. So I can level up 
something. Question is what? Hmm. I wonder if I do like um, psychology or occult. Or I could just wait for one more to get more professionalism. And that'll allow me to analyze like a crime scene and picking locks. Um. Hmm. Ah, oh, it's too many options. I think I'm gonna wait for one more. Yeah, strength's gonna take six. I'm gonna pull out my ladder. The last supper of the Hawkins. What does this tell me? Oh, that's fucking sick. Not as bad as re sevens, but still. What kind of meat is this? Uh that looks like octopus? This place is for the head of the family, Charles Hawkins. Looks like he didn't like uh, the fish. Hmm. The boy was probably here. Smashed his plate on the floor. And his mother. Sarah Hawkins' plate. Why did she leave it untouched? Something happened at this table. An argument? Hey, here. Read me the majority. Working, officer. This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. Really disgusting. Have they no class? Oh. Sarah Hawkins and little Simon. The perfect picture of the middle class family. Sarah Hawkins and little okay. Simon. Okay, nothing more. The perfect picture of the middle class family. Hmm. Look at how the lights are just kind of have this smoke resonating off of them for whatever reason. Was Charles Hawkins some kind of explorer? Hmm. Too much rubble. I'll find an easier way. Let's see if I can find something the cops missed. I found ash. Huh. Cops certainly missed that shit. Bunch of idiots. The child's corpse left a trace. Where are the others? Hello. Was Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? Possibly. They had a fight. Why? Hmm. Hello? Did Sarah Hawkins lose one of her shoes? How? Did it stop at the time of the fire? Hmm. If the painting I found on the docks really came from here, how come it didn't burn? That is a good question. Seeming like this entire place did. So the boy was there. Hello. Did someone escape the 
seems as such. I bet it was this drunken old man. So, detective, what do you make of it? Uh, yeah, you're kind of, you're kind of janky with your arm there. I think that some of your colleagues should turn in their badges. This room is bursting with evidence that seriously contradicts the official inquiry. Well, of course, Mr. Holmes. Like what? Like your ass. I found a bottle of whiskey. Empty. Well, that must have been a loss for you. No glass. I suspect one of them drank heavily coming down. Charles, most probably. That's pretty big. Who says that bottle hadn't been Ooh, there for a while? I know, right? I can tell where young Simon was, but not his parents. Where were their bodies found? I can't help you on that one. Charles and Sarah's bodies had already been carried away when I got here. Without your authorization? By whom? Marshal, Andrews, Chief West. We never deal with cases like that here. So... Well... Mm, no, I don't understand so well. It would seem at least one person what you say? That mark on the door. Someone's hand slipped down. The left side has no mark. The door was open when that someone left. For God's sake. I mean, if it's Charles or Sarah, they wouldn't have left their son. They would rather die in the flames as a family instead of calling for help? I don't know. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Mm hmm. I firmly believe this fire. What's your theory? Uh, relativity and, uh... I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. Oh, character point earned because, yeah. Alright. Time that we upgraded something. <sighs> and Thomas's strength. Oh, I think my strength is all right, but we'll do strength. I'm an expert. Oh wait, I have one. There we go. And then we're going to validate. Yes. Detective Edward Pierce. I'm still stable in my sanity. I just ask that you don't disturb him. Chief West would suck my balls. This door is locked. Hmm. Quite a mystery that. Oh, oh, look. Catch the rabbit. History of medicine in the 13th century. Oh, 18th century. My bad. 
All right. Sweet. My medicine has increased to 26%. I'm getting better. Hmm. Let's set that really good book for an hour. Oh, what's this? These bandages are covered. <clears throat> the same bandages that I saw in the warehouse on the docks. And given the blood stains, I'd also say that it's the same person. Hmm. So he smashed windows twice. What a cunning bastard. So it doesn't look like I'd go up there, but... This door is blocked from the outside. Ooh. The lyrics of the drunken sailor. A sea shanty. Right. A book. An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Dated 1818. Bro, pick that shit up and put it in your jacket right away. That's going to be millions. That is a lot of fucking books. Hmm. Moby Dick, Melville's classic. The epic battle between man and whale. The, okay, that's pretty cool. That is really fucking cool. Mandatory reading for any whaler, I guess. Ow. I guess it got too hot. This piano is in disrepair. Looks like the Hawkins kept it more for decoration than for music. Yeah, only a hundred. But like that, uh, the actual book itself, you know, that kind of printing, you know, probably get a little bit dis of the island. A little bit damaged, but try to keep it in perfect condition that would be that book would probably be worth a couple thousand dollars now the human body a comparative analysis precise and very detailed out trees on the particularities of the human body compared to the animal world the simplicity of its writing and the vulgarization of its vocabulary make it accessible to the profane like pig fuckers my medicine has increased to 28%. Mm, we're getting somewhere. Right, just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Right, let me head upstairs. Okay. Mm. Good thing that, uh, uh looks Greek so mythology. Works. Hecate, goddess of the dead, daughter of Tartarus, and mother of Scylla. Dark water history. This place was settled back in 1693 by two families that seceded from the New England colonies. Mm. A book on hunting whales, the island's staple diet last century. Yep, that is true. They had a whaling good time. There's something disturbing about this view. Yeah. That kind of looks like the rock picture from H.P. Lovecraft's book where the sailor meets 20,000 um, leagues under the sea. Another story about the mysteries of the deep. 
where the sailor meets Cthulhu. Oh, what's this? Crowbar. A crowbar could prove useful. Spot hidden. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> uh, I hate you. What could Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police? So, you know, I've always held you and your family in high respect. Unfortunately, I've been done with the continued to close my eyes to the behavior of your wife. Last week, she again terrified my clientele. I know that she means no harm, but you should place her in the care of Dr. Fuller. He alone seems to be able to make her come to her senses. If these disturbances were to recur, believe me that, although I feel like torture, I would be obliged to involve the police. Respectfully yours, Anton Willard. Sounds like a pussy. Boop, doop, doop, boop, doop, 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 doop. Waiting for official... Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, that, that kind of, that kind of surprised me, I ain't gonna lie. I kind of feel like we're playing Amnesia right now. Locked. Not for long, crowbar, bitch! <laughs> oh, ooh. boys room okay okay I can see now thank god I feel safe oh boy cause that's what creepy ass fucking room look oh the child's fort Threat was Simon protecting his world from the boogie boogie. <laughs> Tom Sawyer, Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. Mm, I don't know. I would expect his father to read him. So holy shit. Uh huh. That is not pleasant. Wonderful wizard boss. Sleeping pills. Strong for an eleven year old boy. What was wrong with this family? Well seeing that his boy was drawing disturbing pictures. What a nightmarish vision could have inspired them. Simon's troubles went beyond family. That kid saw something. Something terrified him. Yeah. <laughs> Normal kids' drawings move on. Wait a minute. How did you know that the fucking drawings were there? They're not there. This man's going insane. The argument that led to their tragic end seems to have been simmering. Probably since we weren't about their attack, it's interesting to be drawing. <sighs> Today with mother we played in the garden, but she's still sad. I hate it when she is sad. She ain't her father. Father scolded me. He shouted loud and wanted to spank me, but mother did not want him to. He's always angry. Why? There are a lot of strange things in his office. I just wanted to look at them. I built a castle for mother and me. I told her to come and hide with me. Well, that was a cute rhyme. She's always She's always painting monsters. I don't like her monsters. I have bad dreams and they come into my bedroom and look at me. I cry and mother shouts at me. Father says that I must take tablets. They're not nice. I don't want to take them. Mother is screaming again. She cries a lot. Father is sad too and angry with mother. I don't know why she... Okay, mother is sad again. 
At lunch, we ate in silence. It was strange. Father said, finish your dishes. We always eat the same thing. It looks like rotten fish and smells very bad. Why does he always want me to want us to eat that? It's not very nice. If we have to eat it again tonight, I will throw my plate on the floor and smash it. Which we know that came true. He's this piece of shit taking bits. <laughs> oh, that's so fucked up. Boy, take your pills. They make you stronger. Like this man here, Odysseus, and this man, Tartarus, and this man, Krogan, and this man, Thanos, and this horse, Gladius, and this lion, who's quite the pussy because he wears glasses. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of this room. It creeps me out. Hello, what's this? An office key. <clears throat> what will her room reveal about her? Oh, that was quick. And just keep the door right next to her room. I'm pretty sure I can pick that. Bam! Perfect. Damn right. I am perfect. Nope. No, not yet. That is creepy as fuck. Mm -mm. Let's check this out first. Barbiturates. Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment. Barbiturates, they act as a depressant of the nervous system, but once you begin, you can never live without them. Opioids. Well, at least she was a fashion of high living. Tell that by the uh, comforter. She also read some shitty books because they're all untitled. Uh, dresser was kind of old age. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, hmm. <laughs> just a, just a early 20th century seven. Sarah man. Hawkins' agent was getting worried. It seems she wasn't giving any signs of life. Ever since you left to bury yourself away on that lost island, your art's been attracting increasing number of collectors. I beg you to send me one of your new paintings. The last one so somber and strange, moving as no other paintings have been selling at a premium price. Your percentage of those most recent sales is attached. Don't forget your friend who was the first to recognize your genius and display to the world. Do you affectionately yours, Maximilian L. He loved you for the money. That's what he looked like. Gross. things there and oh wait <gasps> there's a clue see look at that the investigative sting magnifying glass there we go that's a clue this ledger lists all of the paintings so holy shit see if you have the ability to draw or paint look at those prices and those prices have remained the same up to this day it seems the last one was given for free to a Francis Sanders. I wonder why. Anything underneath? No. Despite what happened, they seem to have loved each other. Fate brought us together and forever it'll bind us. Hmm. I don't believe it. Sweet nothings. The 
Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? What was she trying to achieve? Yeah, that's all I know. Bradley? Is that you? What the fuck was that? Huh. Is anyone there? My hands on fire from holding my cigarette lighter. Look at that piece of art that's right there on the floor with the two lines and smudges. Man, that's got to be worth over $1,000. <laughs> Furry erotica. <clears throat> it was the depiction of the furry orgy that happened at MAGFest. What the fuck? Ooh. You stop. Come here, you bitch. Bradley, did you see which way he went? Who? I didn't see anyone. I just heard some noise. You mean Bradley? A man was hiding on the upper level. He ran when he saw me. He can't be far. What was that? I'll cover you. No, why would I have that? Hell no. Is it the time limit? This door was closed earlier. Which door? Where did he go? They look like Celtic runes. Do you really think Charles that must have brought them back here? from one of his foreign trips? I don't see any way out. Ooh. So I guess that's how we upgrade occultism. Get out of the way, fat ass. It looks like an old sea wing. Mm-hmm, that it does. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, so that indicator on the right is the indicator of my oil. Really? Charles Hawkins knew Captain Fitzroy very well. Maybe because you don't want to use a whale oil egg because you're vegan. <laughs> Ah, uh, you stupid. I wonder who the man with the glasses is in the photograph. Probably another friend of Hawkins. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, this is a hidden... It looks like a freehand map of dark water. Certain areas have been highlighted. I wonder why. Kind of, yeah. Looks like it. The Scylla. The Scylla! It was stranded at the entrance to the harbor. The Scylla. Let's see if I can... Find this hidden object. This globe seems to have been part of some mechanism. Hmm. Ah. It doesn't work. I must have missed something. As if the bookcase has been moved several times. It has. This panel is movable. Cogwheels. Hello. They must be linked to an opening mechanism. Probably a secret passage. I must find a way to activate the opening mechanism. With this, I should be able to force the gears. Hmm. Ah, 
That's one way to solve puzzle. Brute well force. Using the crowbar. But I still haven't found what's hidden in this place. I want to find it. There it is. Hawkins was keeping her father's letters from her. Hmm. Very interesting of why you would do that. Have you seen the old maritime maps on Charles Hawkins' desk? Strange. No ship has left Darkwater shore for years. Maybe he kept them for sentimental reasons. True, but I had the option to use the crowbar, so I kind of figured use the crowbar. <clears throat> well, well. Inside. The Hawkins Mansion, the scene of the fire, revealed its secrets. Pierce and Officer Bradley, now on the trail of a survivor, had undertaken to the search to search the place, looking for proof. When a hooded man leapt into Sarah Hawkins' workshop to steal a painting, the detective and police officer set off after him. By following him to the office of Charles Hawkins, they discovered a secret passage. Pierce and Bradley entered the tunnel under the mansion. Secret passage under the manor, like a detective novel. That guy well, I am a detective. Yeah, and he had a direct means of entry to the crime scene. We must find him. What is this place? More than just a tunnel. Look, someone's been here recently. Yeah. Looks kind of yeah. looks kind of like a fancy little uh coffee shop. Ye oldy coffee shop. A disfigured saint. Cthulian. Heck. Find the thief's trail. I thought I was already in scene reconstruction. Oh, now does it. Did Charles Hawkins use this place? Who were the others? Hmm. What is this mask supposed to represent? Madness. Whatever Charles Hawkins hid here, he didn't want it in his house. Hmm. Don't see any other clues, but this piece of cloth is unmistakably from a dress. Was Sarah Hawkins here? Oh. I'm so glad I have spot hidden. So Sarah Hawkins possibly knew what was going on.
I'm gonna back the room, see if I can. Yeah. This padlock is too complicated for me. Oh, Poppy Kosh. Now just push him off. I like how this little stairwell is like so rickety yet it holds up your body weight. Of course. There's tunnels all over this island. Given the size of this cave, there's gotta be other entrances. Or the passage what? continues further down. Might as well start with that. I ain't gonna squeeze in there. I'll find another way. If possible, I prefer not to ruin my uniform. Fine, fine. Go look for another entrance. I'll try my luck down below. You're quite the pussy, officer. No why no wonder why you're only a officer rather than a detective. Quite the pussy. Here we are. Slogging through shit. Well, that's not safe. Some kind of dream cat. I touch it, I will turn to dust. Uh, almost more like Eldritch signs. Those look like Elder signs. Interesting. These paintings must be several centuries old. Quite interesting. An old diary. In this volume, there is a mention of the beliefs of the Lost Tribe. They worship an entity that spoke to them in their sleep. The whole tribe seemingly disappeared in a mass sacrifice to glorify their deity. Sad way to go. That definitely looks... This monstrous creature must be... These people lying down. Are they dead? Are they asleep? No. I wouldn't believe it. Hmm. These buildings seem to have come out of the water. Interesting. Lost City of Ryleth. Oops, I touched it, it turned to dust. Find the thief's trail. The store is still locked. I think the handle broken. Uh, some interesting looking stuff over there. <sighs> this cave of wonders. Too bad there's not a genie's lamp. Time has weakened these structures. That they have. That they have indeed. If 
I go over there. I don't have time to search them all. Sure you do. You have plenty of time. This thing's not going anywhere. It looks like animal oil. It's certainly not whale. It does look fucking weird. Interesting looking fire. Ah, uh, this is a unique statue. Here's some chanting. What's going on here? Beer. Your voice down. We're not alone. What have you gotten into? We'll see. I'll go on. Try to go down on your side. Yeah, I'll bet there's a passage. I'll meet you at the bottom. Bring your gun. I bet you didn't. It's your pussy cop. Sacrifice? Pretty much. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Jeez. No, damn it. I must find a way out of here. I've got panic cats. Oh shit. Soon be one of us if your body and mind are ready. I dream of it every night. I have constant visions. I am ready. Good enough. Prove it to us. It's like in my dream. So let's see. Currently stable. Still stable. Uh, I have... Oh, I have... Wait a minute. How much CP do I have? I have 5 CP available. <laughs> Which can... <laughs> Go all into strength, so let's let's master strength. So the strength is mastered. There you go, Thomas. Hope you're happy. Now I can uh, box out dudes. 
It seems to have been used recently. Probably some sort of ritual. See, my cult is now the ten. Of course I was gonna fail that, that skill check, but at least it gave me five more percent. So Oh, these bastards, all their doors are broken. Have they not learned how to make proper door handles? Yeah, I see why it kills to have the lantern. Would you get much better light compared to your lighter? But it does take up oil. Which I have a hard time finding oil. Oh, oh wow, they finally fixed the door. Return into the kingdom of the earth. These bastards are trying to raise up Cthulhu. It looks like a kind of deep coma. What could this ritual have done to them? We are waiting for the ceremony. What about your protege? His awakening is imminent. He will join you shortly. That would have been terrible if he caught me. So I'm not going to do anything with them. I'm just going to get the fuck out of here. Sigurd, the Nihafid. 
intruder. Oh shit. Don't move. Police. Don't move. Hello. I won't hesitate. Bradley, get Take back. Joke. Get back. You asked for it. Oh damn. Oh, damn. Oh, fuck. Let's get caving in. I need to get out of here. Yep. Let's get the fuck out. Oh, fuck. Woodbridge. 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 Oh, fuck. Wait, nope. Oh, time to get the fuck out of Dodge. <laughs> My leg. Uh, I can't see it. Oh, I lost it. Oh, oh bollocks. Oh god, I had tinnitus again. In game and for real. Oh Jesus. This is why I don't drink light. At last. Light. No, fuck you. Ha! <laughs> Probably lodged in his ass. More than likely. Oh. oh, this is... This is good so far. I'm... I'm great... I am really enjoying this, though it is already 11.30. I may have to call this a night, and we're going to end right at the beginning of Chapter 5. Um, but I've been rushed over to the Riverside Institute as I am in critical state. Yeah. Got a little tinnitus. Not really. Oh. Oh, Jesus, the needle stayed in his arm. Okay. Okay, if you're having a seizure, you don't have control over your head. So this is... Oh, what the fuck? Certainly say that you gave us a scare. <laughs> what did you do to me? Undo these straps. Whoa, go easy, my friend. Oh, Dad. He killed you. Are you sure he's better? He was dead. Me too, we, we were dead. What are you doing? I'm sorry, my friend. What? No! Uh, 
What happened to me? Where am I? That is a good question indeed. To be answered next time. For tonight, we end our tale in a strange place under strange circumstances. Was everything just a dream? Are we all just accepting madness? Thank you all very much for joining. I've been enjoying the tale so far. I hope you have too. And we're definitely going to see this one through. Once again, this is Holy Marcellus, KBRN Gaming. You have a good night and keep gaming. <laughs>